Hey, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to show the power of the website of quantlabs.net, the form, the community I got. I uh, got something very useful for me, and I'm wanting to share this information uh, with other people. Today, uh, I posted a question, or a few days ago, I posted this question. One of the most popular indicators are alerts to enter and exit the markets for your profitable trade. Now, I posted this on purpose for a number of reasons. You know I've read Ernie Chan's book on, on basically uh, re mean reversion. Uh, the problem with it is just another example of some of the gaps you'll come across. You try to build this into a trading system. So thankfully, the community I have, I got this response. Um, well, let me just go over this first. Uh, what are the popular uh, indicators or alerts? So I said things like Bollinger Lake, Standard Deviation, Moving Average. Um, technical indicator uh, or technical analysis types like RSI volume. But this person has been pretty active on my forums uh, when we first opened it, touring KG. And it's guy, guys or gals that like this that make, you know, that gives me an awesome sense of direction on where to go. So regardless of, of you know, not to throw a spanner, a spammer, not a spam, a spanner in the works, but surely the more popular as an entity becomes, the less profitable. Yes, I agree, but we're just starting out. There's a lot of us here in the same boat. So I'm trying to use this opportunity as a roadmap to sort of say, okay, this is where you go. Once we get to a certain level of where we're able to use, let's say, these whatever subset of popular technical indicators or alerts or whatever to know when to enter and exit the markets, we can then from there with confidence over time be able to start building more custom indicators. So that's the plan, but we're just starting out. So uh, he also responded with, also vaguely recall the London Quant saying he doesn't use any technical indicators and works on price alone, but caveats aside, there are plenty of books on the subject as well, which led me to this book. Uh, the TLC is pretty comprehensive, but you may be able to get the book online in PDF format. Okay, so this is the book. Now I've kind of gone through uh, the description, and this looks awesome. Um, this just is in its fifth edition. I purposely don't pay a lot of attention to books anymore. No different than when you see these trading bots do this and that. It's just you, you realize there's a lot of them that might not, it's just all hype and fluff. But this one looks really good, this book. Um, so I went through the, 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 the um, table of contents as suggested. First, I gotta say thank you very much to this person uh, for, for, for uh, uh, dropping this hint. This is this is a really powerful book, not just for me, but hopefully other people out there. But coming back to this, it's like this is something like an end-to-end -end book, which is very. Uh, this thing's a beast um, with over a thousand pages. But this might be a really good book to bring it all together, both the technical as well as the um, statistical, as well as the technical indicator, and all whole enchilada, bring it together uh, to be able to build trading systems. Now, one thing I can say about this particular book from Perry J. Kaufman is that it's based upon Excel and uh, uh, TradeStation. Now, hopefully you know my uh, views to TradeStation and all these other retail uh, trading platforms. They're fine to start out at, but when you start getting really serious on the trading side, you start to realize the bottlenecks and the limitations that that brings, and, and TradeStation is a good example. Excel is very useful because you can easily tie that into .NET um, applications, as well as somewhat with C++ as well. But nevertheless, let's not talk technology, let's just talk about um, where we're going with this. So here's the table of contents, um, blah, 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 introductory stuff I'm going to imagine, uh, probability, standard measure, performance, blah, blah, blah. We've covered that a lot. Um, bar chart, one day patterns, all these different episodic uh, patterns or whatever, blah, 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 blah. evolution of price pattern, right, we know that. Um, charting systems and techniques. Uh, actually, I shall be putting a, a webinar in the next hour live on charting, um, but this it looks more it's, uh, geared towards technical um, indicators as well, or technical analysis, uh, inside days, pivot points, channel breakout, moving channel, uh, Blah blah blah. So that's more technical indicator. That's fine. Um, now also we are moving into swing trading, 
uh, swing, chart, swing chart, uh, point and figure charting, blah, blah, blah. We know that. But this is where it gets very interesting because I've seen this a lot in my MATLAB. Regression analysis. This is where we're going to start moving into more quant kind of stuff. So we got here components of a time series, which you know, which is essential for tick, tick data, bar data, whatever. The, the time series is, is the crust of the whole thing. So we got the pricing data. Uh, then we move into uh, regression, linear regression, correlation. This is all the quantity mathy stuff. It's not too heavy, but this is important. Uh, multivariate approximation, arena, which I played with. And here we go, basic trading signals from the regression models. This is, this is key. We know how to generate this from books like Ernie Chan and other books. But the question is, how do we go about submitting trades based around this information? That is why I asked this question on my forum and addressed this to my community, which has been fortunate enough to be able to respond as indicated here by this person, uh, Touring KG. Again, thank you very much for this posting because this book really, really brings it all together. Um, so now we're moving into forecasting and following. We know that. Moving average, which we talked about, geometric moving average, uh, different other types, exponential smoothing, and uh, let's start moving into other areas. So we're only on page 309, but you'll see how big this sucker is. It's over, it's almost 1,200 pages uh, right here. So you can see how comprehensive this book is. But I just want to show you some of the other stuff that I'm, I'm finding is very fascinating as, again, at the stage where I'm at, this will be very useful. So we left off here, we got momentum, divergent, oscillators, uh, momentum again, velocity, uh, again, all quantity kind of stuff which will help on the math side, which personally I'm very weak on. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I'm going through this, to try to really educate myself, uh, not just when I did this a year or two years ago, but there's always resources that I like to know about. Uh, and this is a good one, this book. So again, let's just uh, go back into it. The different types of patterns based around seasonality. Um, Again, some other uh, types of, I guess, cyclical analysis, uh, as well as volume, open interest, and breadth. Now, this is this is really important because it's these things, variation, uh, and the different indicators here, different patterns. And again, this stuff is really important uh, to understand the, the the data flow of 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 your ticks and trying to and understand the patterns that come from that. So you can understand things like uh, breadth and volume. These are industry uh, uh, things that you definitely need to know about. Now again, we move into where the, the profit opportunities are. Again, are here in the spreads and arbitrage, carrying changes. Oh, sorry, carrying charges, uh, spreads, arbitrage, um, carry trade, um, and so so forth. A really good book here. This this might condense probably years. Of analysis, I'm going to be actually reading this um, over the coming weeks. But I'm, let me just continue marching on here. Now we get into different types of trading: Elliott wave, Fibonacci, event trading, um, GAN. Um, I don't know financial astrology. You can do what you want with that. Um, projecting the highs and lows, the gaps, um, artificial intelligence. Uh, let's move along. Now, this is specific to day trading. Transaction cost, pattern, price patterns, price shocks, important. Adaptive techniques. Now, this is, again, really important. Uh, adaptive trend, can adaptive process. One of the keys that I know is, is always making sure you have a self-adapting model or a strategy. This, hopefully, this chapter will cover that. Um, price distribution, again, uh, I don't see anything... Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, support and resistance, again, that's technical analysis. We all know that. Multiple time frames, different. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to take some assumptions here. Now, this is, again, more industry sort of stuff. Volatility, volatility, uh, liquidity, trends, uh, fuzzy logic, neural networks, genetic algorithms, and so on and so forth. We've covered this stuff already within MATLAB. So this book should help readdress all that uh, as we get to it. System testing, um, I'm sure there's a lot of useful stuff in here. This, this is a good, again, a good end-to-end -end book. 
uh, practical considerations, system trade-offs, some of the systematic signals, important there. Um, and then risk control, very important, very, very important. Leverage, liquidity, risk aversion, risk trade, uh, entering a position, ooh, good. Equity trends, and then, now I've already lately been talking about this. Portfolio allocation when it comes to your trading. Again, not addressed a lot, but this book looks like it covers it. The correlation, types of portfolio, blah, blah, blah. I've got some software that covers all that. It's just understanding how to apply it. So this will hopefully take care of that. More stuff, statistical tables, blah, blah, blah. At the end, again, it's this reason why uh, my community is very helpful for me. And thank you very much for pointing this out. This should really give me a, a total encapsulation of everything end to end with this guy, Perry Kaufman. Now, I'm um, not going to go too much. I've gone over the table of contents of as suggested. Here's the price at uh, Amazon. I think it's like $74 or something like that. It sounds expensive, um, but I'm sure uh, it's probably pretty affordable for what you're getting. Uh, and this is the fifth edition of it. Um, yeah, so it's $78 or whatever. Uh, so there you go. And again, the software is in TradeStation and Excel. The Excel I'm hoping will be useful as well as the trade station code, eh, we can sure get around that somehow uh, logically because it's code and it's logic that we're after and be able to reapply that to the MATLAB and .NET stuff. So I just wanted to show the book to you and just show you where I'm going with it um, and we'll go from there. And it covers everything you could possibly imagine. Have a good day. Later.